now to travel and we have been talking about it for weeks so we are super excited to finally be announcing the winner for our dream holiday to Hawaii. Joining us for the big reveal, Megan Hornblow from Hawaii Tourism New Zealand and House of Travel Cruise and Travel Expert and Manuel. Morning guys. Morning Megan. Lovely to have you both here because this is a big deal. We've been talking about it for so long, seen so many great videos of Hawaii. Now, Megan, a huge response to this from all of our viewers for this competition. Is Hawaii becoming a more popular destination for Kiwis? Yeah, it really is. We've seen a huge increase in visitor numbers in recent years. Um, this is mainly due to the increase in airline capacity, but since Hawaiian Airlines started flying their direct services about five years ago, we've actually seen visitor numbers triple. Um, wow. So last year we had uh, just over 68,000 Kiwis visit Hawaii, wow. which is fantastic. Because it just seems so easy. It from is Kiwis so easy. Moment. It is. Now, and you have been, um, how was your flight over to Hawaii? Oh, well, of course, I love Hawaiian <laughs> Airlines. It's a big little airline with a big heart, big hospitality. The minute you get on board, you feel, well, I'm here, I'm in the Hawaiian mode. And also, those laid-back seats are the best. <laughs> oh, they sound Comfort superb. class, all the way. Now, our winner will fly Hawaiian Airlines and their hospitality extended to taking our travel team on a very special flight. Take a look. Her name is Belonka. She's almost 90 years old and has just emerged from a major refurb. Everything on the airplane is brand new, new engine, new prop, everything, all new covering, new interior. The only thing that's not new is the pilot. <laughs> Hawaiian Airlines is the only airline in the world still flying its original aircraft. Belonka is flown by a small number of aviation enthusiasts, including the airline's retiring chief executive. It was our first aeroplane from 1929. Uh, and not only do we have it, but we fly it. And we fly it uh, probably 10 times a week on average. Uh, and we take principally our employees and their families that can just sign up for it. What we're trying to do is to um, create that sense of belonging to, to our business and, and uh, to do that Understanding the history, understanding how we got to where we are today uh, is an important element. We're privileged to be on the same sightseeing tour that Belonka started flying in 1929 to get locals used to the idea of air travel as a form of public transport. That nod to the past continues in the airline's archives room. When Captain Rick took over, it was a small, dusty room. Well, the archives, as you look around here, this is the, the main gallery, if you will. Some of our artifacts go back to the 1920s. The respect Hawaiian Airlines has for its history is carried through to its sense of family. Hospitality in itself is a universal language, whether you're from Hawaii or from somewhere across the globe. It's this understanding and willingness to anticipate the need of someone even when they don't know they have a need. And so sometimes it's just kindness. Hawaiian Airlines represents obviously Hawaii, um, the brand, the color schemes, the tail and all that, but much more importantly, it's the culture and the values uh, of the community. The feeling of being on holiday, the feeling of being in Hawaii is the first thing that strikes you. Hawaiian Airlines has just celebrated its fifth anniversary flying to New Zealand and recently responded to growing demand, taking the number of flights per week from three to five. I love going to New Zealand, I spent a lot of time there, watching the rugby, uh, going out to the bush, it, it, it's, it's a favourite place of mine. Uh, that didn't actually have anything to do with it. Uh, we decided to start flying down to, to Auckland because we saw a gap in the marketplace. Many passengers take advantage of extra comfort seats with added legroom and greater recline for the eight-hour flight. Once on Oahu, island hopping is easy with 170 local flights daily. We provide the economic, the social and the cultural infrastructure uh, that the state uh, relies on. Um, we, that, that imposes on us the need to provide really uh, frequent, flexible air transportation between the islands. And we fly, for example, between here and Kahului on Maui over 30 times a day in each direction. But it's that aloha spirit that the airline is world famous for, a philosophy that stems from the sacred art of hula. It was a lifestyle for me. 
without me knowing, it became the path. How you approach people, how everyone has a story and to be conscious of that, whether they dance or not. Debbie has been instrumental in developing the airline's Kikumu project, in which employees pass on their cultural knowledge to their colleagues. We identify those that speak the language, that teach the language, that teach the hula, and that's the first thing, to recognize them, although they're a flight attendant, or they're a mechanic, or they work in human resources. We wanted to try and give dimension and breadth and acknowledge that there, there are teachers amongst us. A lot of our guests that come to visit us, they themselves don't know why they keep coming back, but it's that same sense, of, that same feeling of, I don't know, it feels different. You know, I feel safe, I feel comfortable, I feel a part of this family. And when your family lives in the paradise that is Hawaii, well, any excuse is a good one to visit. How incredible does that look? I'm not, and we, we saw you learning the hula. What was going on with your mouth? Did you have to hold your mouth in a certain way? To do you do. Properly? It's the only way to concentrate. Um, so what else did you love about the Hawaiian Islands? Oh my gosh, I adore the diversity of it. Imagine, you know, you think of sand and sea and palm trees, but you get up into the volcanoes on the big island and it's raining and it's misty and it's mystical. And you get up at 5 a.m., you know, having stayed in a lodge overnight with a big fire quite a different experience and then there's the cowboy uh, towns which I adore they call them the cowboys panioli but they've been there like since not they're still not there but they've been <laughs> wrangling cattle since the 1800s in these little towns up in Maui and it's just so laid back and there's a lot of art shops and oh, cute wow. little restaurants it's gorgeous oh it sounds like a bit of me um now Megan do you recommend visitors make that little bit of extra effort to see other things rather yeah. than just Waikiki I do I mean I absolutely love Waikiki it is such a a fun spot but we always encourage visitors to explore beyond Waikiki whether that be just to the north shore of Oahu and just explore everything that beautiful island has to offer but the unique thing about Hawaii is that each of the six Hawaiian islands is is really unique and as Anne just said really diverse so mm. um, whether it be you travel to Kauai um, and just enjoy the dramatic landscapes perfect for nature lovers just go there and rejuvenate or visit an active volcano on Hawaii Island. Wow. Um, there really is something for everybody. Mm. I think you just convinced me to take my next family holiday there. Yeah. Actually, it sounds so amazing. <laughs> we'll think about it for a while. <laughs> now, thanks to Hawaiian Airlines and Hawaii Tourism for sending one of our viewers and a friend to Waikiki to stay for six nights at the Lalo. Now, Anne, could you do the honours? Could you announce the winner? Absolutely. Where's the drum roll? <laughs> it's there. There we go. It's there. It. Da, 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 da. <laughs> the winner is Sarah. Lee Hand from Dunedin. Oh, that is amazing. Congratulations, Sarah Lee Hand. You must be jumping up and down and screaming at the TV right now. Uh, when you're planning your holiday, go to Hawaii Tourism's New Zealand website, gohawaii.com slash nz. And for the best deals on getting there, book with Hawaiian Airlines, hawaiianairlines.co.nz. Thank you so much for joining us in the studio, both of you, and uh, Anne and Megan.